Now this problem is related to tincture of iodine. So finding the percentage of I minus, please copy this one first. So this is to conversion of I minus to I plus and this is 0.5 N of Serenium 4 plus. So this is 0.05 M of Serenium 4 plus. So you can write here itself. So this is Serenium 4 plus. So 0.05 N in Serenium 4 plus. To copy fast. Okay, let us discuss. So this problem says sufficient amount of H2 gas is passed through a 5 ml solution of tincture of iodine. So initially I have a 5 ml solution of tincture of iodine and H2S gas is passed through this sample. So if I pass H2S, question says tincture of iodine, iodine, iodide to convert all its iodine to iodide. So all of the iodine that is here is converted into I minus. And now see, we have also said tincture of iodine is nothing but I2 plus I minus. So initially I have I2 and some I will have I minus. So now whatever iodine I have that is converted into I minus. And sulfur gets precipitated off from H2S. Now this solution is made up to 1 liter. So I minus solution, initially I have taken only 5 ml solution. This has been made up to 1 liter. Now from this solution, 250 ml, so question says, 250 ml of this solution requires 28 ml of 0.05 and serenium 4 plus. So the 250 ml of this solution, I have diluted up to 1 liter. 
and among 1 liter I have taken only 250 ml and 250 ml requires 28 ml of 0.05 N serenium 4 plus in this case conversion of I minus goes to I plus so in this reaction I minus goes to I plus and serenium equivalent I can find because I know the number of more equivalent normality I know so I can find equivalent of serenium 4 plus and the next part of the question says 2 ml of the same solution so 2 ml of same sample that is tincture of iodine so I am taking the same thing 2 ml now if this is treated with AgNO3 this gives me 0 0.0313 gram of yellow precipitate now everybody knows AgNO3 will react with I minus because sample contains I2 plus I minus. So this will react, Ag plus will react with I minus and it will form precipitate AgI. And that is the yellow precipitate. So let us assume initially in 5 ml solution I have X mole of, so in 5 ml solution of tincture of iodine let us say x mole of I2 I will have and by mole of I minus I will have. If you see the second reaction, let us do the first second reaction. Second reaction I have that is I minus plus Ag plus. So the second reaction will have I minus react with Ag plus and this will give you AgI as a precipitate are getting and now beta of AGI is given that is 0 0.0313 gram so this is 0 0.0313 gram so we can calculate the number of mole of AGI so mole is this divided by molecular weight and if you calculate molecular weight of AGI is 235 so this is the mole of AGI so mole of AGI is this will be 0 0.0313 divided by 235. Now you see this reaction 1 mole of I minus reacts with 1 mole of AGI. So I will have this is same as mole of I minus. So this is same as mole of I minus. Now this is the mole of I minus in 2 ml of solution. So you see what we have done. We have taken 2 ml of sample. So this is in the 2 ml sample. So this is the mole of I minus in 2 ml. 2 ml solution. So in 5 ml I can say. So in 5 ml I minus is. In 5 ml I minus is nothing but. This divided by 2 into 5. So I will have 5 into. 5 divided by 2 into 0 0.0313. Divided by 235. So this is the mole of I minus that you will have in 5 ml solution. Now let us discuss the first part. So you have the first reaction. So now I know. So mole of I minus in 5 ml is we have said this is a by. So now I know by is nothing but this mole 5 by 2 into 0 0.0313 divided by 235. So this is my equation number 1. Now let us say I want to find X. So now this reaction, so let us discuss this reaction. So what is happening in the first case? I will have I2 and I minus. So what is happening? In this case, I2 goes to 2I minus plus 2 electrons. So you see what is happening is 2S and I2 goes to I minus. So you have some I minus initially also. And that is basically by that remains as it is no reaction so for I minus no reaction so this was the by so it will remain as by now this was X mole so you will have I minus that will be produced that is 2x mole so I minus produced one mole gives you two mole so I minus produced that is 2x mole so total I minus how many I will have? So total I minus that is 2x that is produced and by that was initial so 2x plus by mole. So this is the I minus that is produced. Now the next reaction you have I minus goes to I plus. So you will have I minus going to I plus 
Now, if you balance this one, you have to add two electron. Now, serenium four plus. This is titrated with serenium four plus, and this is 28 mL of. You see here. So, serenium four plus is 28 mL of 0.05 n. So, 28 mL 0.05 n. So, what is the equivalent of serenium? Equivalent of serenium four plus. This will be normality in mole so volume so 0.05 into 28 ml is 28 into 10 to the power minus 3 so this is the equivalent now i have to convert equivalent into mole so you see in this reaction this this serenium 4 plus equivalent should be same as equivalent of i minus because i minus in one case i minus react with serenium 4 plus so this is also same as equivalent of I minus, so this is same as 0 0.05 into 28 into 10. So this is the same as equivalent of I minus. Now let us discuss to convert equivalent of I minus. So what is what I have? So equivalent of I minus is this. I can use to find this equivalent to mole. Now, what is the mole of I minus? In this case, n factor is 2. So, how will you find mole of I minus? So, in this reaction, n factor for I minus is 2. Because you see here, I minus goes to I plus. So, 1 mole of I minus takes 2 mole of electron. So, n factor is 2. So equivalent is this, so mole will be, so I can write mole of I minus, this will be equivalent divided by n factor. So this 0 0.05 into 28 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this divided by 2, that will give you the mole because n factor in this reaction is 2. So now we have mole of I minus and basically this is the total mole of I minus and this is in 250 ml solution. So this is the mole of I minus in 250 ml solution because I have diluted this solution up to 1 liter. So you here see this one. The solution is diluted to 1 liter and 250 ml solution is taken. So this is the mole of I minus in 1 in 250 ml. So we have to find total mole of I minus in 1 liter. So mole of I minus in 1 liter will be, I have to multiply this by 4. So mole of I minus in 1 liter. So this will be equals to, so this multiplied by 4. So I have to multiply this by 4 into 0 0.05 into 28 into 10 to the power minus 3 and this divided by 2. So this is the mole of I minus. So this will come out with 2 into 0 0.05 into 28 into 10 to the power minus 3 mole. So this is the total mole of I minus and you see total mole of I minus is 2x plus y. So you see here so you have 2x plus y. So this is the total mole of I minus. This is 2x plus y. So this is 2 into 0 0.05 into 28 into 10 to the power minus 3. So this is my equation number 2 and I already have equation number 1 that is y is equals to this value. So if you solve for x and y you can get the mole of iodine and mole of I minus and then you calculate the beta of I minus and you can calculate the percentage. If you do that we will find percentage of free iodine that is percentage of I2 that will come out to be 88.2 percent. Now what you have to do is you have you know the mole because you have two equation x and y you know the mole of I minus you mole, know the mole of I2 you can calculate the weight because you can multiply this by molecular weight of I2 then you can calculate the percentage. This is your task. So you have equation 1 you have equation 2. You calculate x, you calculate y. Basically, 
x is you can calculate you put the value of y from equation 2 and get the value of x and then you multiply by molecular weight of iodine that is 254 so what you have to do is you have to calculate x then multiply by 254 and then divide by the original weight original weight is sample was having original weight you can find so original weight you can find using the weight of iodine plus weight of by that is i minus because iodine is 254 plus by is the mole of i minus so by into 127 so this is the total weight and this is the original weight so if you do this one multiplied by 100 you will come out to 88.2 percent so i'm waiting how many of you can do this one so let us get the answer and then we'll discuss the next problem